Agreed. So let's take a look around here. Yeah, it is the same Samurai Dog Sand from Goodbyes, or from the original Gord. Every nook and cranny. You got it, Edgeworth. Uh, I see a possible red coat! My voice cracked. Yep. What is it? Come on. Red coat. Red coat. Red coat. Yeah! Red coat! It's gotta be. Smart guy would know to ditch it. Okay, um, I guess we should examine this, but I guess we can't examine it. Okay. Um, silently me examine that. Uh, what is this? It's a red button! Man, I can't, I can't possibly think what, what that red thing is. Okay, my volume might be a little bit too loud. Sorry if you heard the audio on the camera, and this is a different recording session from the last. Okay, um... I don't think I have any connection yet. Um, I would like to examine the coat more. Yes, let's examine that part. The sleeve. It's inside out and missing a button. Oh, <laughs> well then, I... This doesn't seem this difficult. Let's connect the big red button to the raincoat. There you go. Because only Edgeworth can solve this crime. <laughs> Very observant. Yep, so he was rushing to take it off. Yep. And the bag in the garbage. Ran to the other side. and then ditched to the jacket. No evidence of them anymore. Good thing Ray caught everything on camera, otherwise we would be absolutely screwed. <laughs> yep, and that's why the right sleeve was removed. Yep, fast rush. And no one would notice. Good point there, Edgeworth. It isn't. Maybe he just was carefully taking that one off? Okay. Let's take a look here. The inside of the raincoat. Let's do it. Ooh, is that... Is that what I believe it is? Is a blood stain. Interesting. Their left arm. Sorry. Yeah. Did he have a cast? That's the only thing that makes sense. Yep. Got it. Find a guy with an injured left arm. Seems very specific that... And I hope there's someone here like that. It's all coming together. Investigation complete. Yep. Go, Gumshoe! Away! Okay. The assassin should still be within the crowd. Unless he dived into the water. But with a broken left arm, or injured left arm, I don't think he would be able to swim. And there would be blood in the water. Let's see. Is it the person we want? A person of interest. Got it. 
Wow. Gum should just go straight into it. Bring him over here. <laughs> uh, I love this. Okay, so for those Ace Attorney fans, it's pretty obvious who this guy is. By both his theme, his symbol, and his face. John Doe. <laughs> and the name John Doe will make sense to most Ace Attorney fans, but if you have not, or if this doesn't make sense to you, you probably have no idea who this guy is. <laughs> I think everyone knows Edgeworth's name. He's like, he's like a celebrity, like Judge Judy. Yeah, I don't think someone would need to wear a red raincoat over a pink suit. Just saying. Wow. Com purely coincidental. <laughs> mano a mano. <laughs> Confrontation. And for those who don't know what this means, this is actually basically just cross-examinations from the normal Ace Attorney series, so this isn't anything new. Don't find a contradiction, what do you do then? You press. Even though I'm the prosecutor, which makes no sense, because I'm not supposed well, I guess I can't. Technically, the prosecu prosecution can cross examine, it's just not common in the Ace Attorney world. <laughs> okay, John Doe's testimony. Uh huh. Uh, actually, I do have proof. It wasn't even raining. I don't know why a guy brought a raincoat. Fair enough. <laughs> of course, because that's all Kay cares about. No one cares about your parka! We've said this already. Unfortunately, you have a flaw. Who <laughs> only has a si- Ooh! You're guilty, dude. This is gonna be easy as pie. I'm just gonna press that second statement just in case. But I mean... I mean, I, I'll just present it. I mean, I don't have to, like... There you go. Easy enough. So like I said, it's exactly like cross-examinations from previous games. The objection the I, I gotta say, probably the coolest part about this game is that the songs are all like three minute long epics. Similar to Dual Destinies, but Dual Destinies themes are shorter. Like, they have they don't even have verses, they just like transition into like different songs and then eventually loop. Which is why I think the themes are so cool in this game. I'm sorry, I, I just love this game so much. <laughs> so much more than some of the other Ace Attorney games. You know exactly what I mean. With this. Ooh! The ice cream. The ice cream is basically his face. Blood of the Assassin. <laughs> All we need is a blood test.
exactly. Blood test, we win. He's nervous. Oh. If this was a game of chess, you would have been... You would have lost a long time ago. What do you have to admit? There you go. But that means you had the gun, and my picture proves that you had the gun. Yeah? You really want to go that way? I got evidence, bro. Sure you are. Yeah. I don't think I have any contradictory statements, but I'm still gonna press the crap out of that. Glaring at me won't help. There you go, guy in the red raincoat. You're saying there's a second person with a red raincoat? I don't see any other red coat, especially during the chaos picture. So unless you're claiming there are two red coats, none of this makes any sense. Bring it on, Mr. Dell. Objection! No, you're not! Um... As you said already... It's not rainy! Yes, because you can still serve ice cream with one hand. Good luck with that. And your one ice cream cone. What do you mean by this? Of course the bodyguards reacted to a gunshot. Mm-hmm. What was wrong with the guy on the left? Of course you do, he has a monocle. Rook and Nightly. So the guy on the left is Rook. A Mr. Ethan Rook. How do you know that? Do we... Uh, yeah, please... Something's not right here. So... Exceptionally quick. A Mr. Ethan Rook, as I recall. Actually, I didn't want to process this. I was trying to look at my evidence. Ethan Rook. I'm gonna go back. I wanna... Um... Security plans. Yeah, all it says is Rook, and these are like code names, I'm thinking. So, uh, how do you know his first name, sir? You know more than you're letting on. <laughs> this pursuit theme. This has got to be also one of the best pursuit themes easily. Oh, 
I'm sorry, this first, these first few episodes, you're gonna hear me love this game because it isn't as blind. It's not blind like the first game was. Look at only their surnames. It looks like a code name. Rook. We didn't even know it. I don't even know if I had it in my profiles. I don't even know if I have profiles. Yes, I do. Yeah, I don't have a Mr. Ethan Rook in here. You lose! Good day, sir! Yeah, sure. Surely a slip of the tongue. We're not being hasty. How would you know? Oh, why don't we go ask Mr. Rook then? Stop saying that! Well, why don't we go up and go ask Mr. Rook then, huh? Exactly. Why would that be difficult? Oh, if it had to do with finding the assassin, I am sure they will help us. Actually, it does. It proves you know more. Especially, since we know the crime was premeditated. You are not... You can corner him, Edgeworth. It's too easy. Figure out he isn't acquaint... Figured out that he's not an acquaintance of Rook. And you're done. And this is why... <laughs> Pain, and this is why you lose. Because you try to arrest someone with no evidence and then lose your case. All of the rubbling. Yeah. I think you are. What do you mean by truth? Oh, I can't wait to see what he makes up of this.